welcome to uh, video one for unit five for AP Environmental Science. Unit five is land and water use. Um, before we get started, I will give you a heads up. This is an extensive unit. Um, it's big. Uh, a lot of the information in the unit is going to come from this lecture, so these videos, uh, the reading that you do from the book, and some of the stuff we do in class. So you need to make sure that you get the lecture, you get the reading, and that you make sure you get everything that we do in class so that all three of those can be there to help you with the unit final. Um, it's really important that you get the content, and if you need extra explanation, always shoot me an email, ask me in class. Um, <clears throat> if there's ever anything that you're not sure about, that's where you need to put it forward. And then finally, in case you're unaware, if you weren't listening uh, last class or one of the last classes, the uh, fall semester exam is just going to be the Unit 5 test, and it won't cover other units. So it's a not, it is not a cumulative final, and that means that Unit 5 is pretty important for your final exam grade because that'll be 15% of your uh, semester grade. With that, we'll look at all of the unit topics. Notice part one, because there's so many topics. <laughs> uh, so tragedy of the commons, clear cutting, the green revolution, impacts of agricultural practices, irrigation methods, pest control methods, meat production methods, impacts of overfishing, impacts of mining, impacts of urbanization, ecological footprints, Introduction to Sustainability, Methods to Reduce Urban Runoff, Integrated Pest Management, Sustainable Agriculture, Aquaculture, and Sustainable Forestry. With that, we're going to start with our first part, 5.1, The Tragedy of the Commons. This should be a review. We did an activity at the beginning of the year for this. Just as a reminder, if you uh, look at this image here, you can imagine an open pasture where multiple cattle owners are sharing. Each owner increases their herd to maximize their own benefit. Um, because it's unregulated, It's a log it, it, this is logical, right? Because the benefit is employed by the individual and impacts, impacts are shared by all. So ultimately, overgrazing will occur. And you can see that that's what's going to happen in the idea of the tragedy of the commons. If we have a common resource, people are going to overuse it because they get an individualistic be benefit. So externalities are basically just the costs or benefits of a good or service that's not included in the purchase price. The idea of including external externalities um, is something that has been put forward to look at. So uh, the idea here is if you smell some bread from a local bakery, you know this is not a benefit included in the purchase price. It's a positive externality. A factory is a negative externality. It's not related to the cost. It's just an externality that is part of the good or the service. Most uh, economists feel that private ownership or regulation is the only solution to the problem of the tragedy of the commons. So you can see... Um, Many of these of them believe that that's the only way, it's the only solution. Uh, some believe self-regulation of the resource users can prevent the tragedy of the commons. And in 2009, Eleanor Ostrom won the 2009 Nobel Laureate in Economic Sciences for this theory. With that, we're going to end part one. Part two will be all about clear-cutting.